Okay, so what is up everyone? This is Karen here. Welcome back to Tech Karen YouTube channel. This is Hikon OS which I have installed on my Redmi Note 9 Pro. It's a mere tool build, can be installed on other devices also. Redmi Note 9S, Redmi Note 9 Pro, Redmi Note 9 Pro Max, Poco M2 Pro, all of the devices. This one is Hikon OS which is official Android version 11. Maintainer is Hassan for the mere tool devices. It comes with the latest February security patch, comes with many cool kind of interesting UI, some customizations also. I'm gonna show you a lot of stuff about this build, how you can install that, very easy, just need to install a zip file, nothing else. Smoothness is good. Let's get started, let's find out some things which you get in this latest Hikon OS for the Mi Atoll devices. Okay, so first of all, as you can see, we have this kind of look here. We have another cool kind of wallpaper. Let me show you by going into settings that we have a new kind of UI. As you can see, these icons are themed. These are interesting. You don't get these kind of icons basically in all other custom rooms. But in this custom room, we have all these icons, which are looking quite good here. If you go for the home screen, it has interesting kind of wallpaper. As you can see, Hikon wallpaper is there. If you go for the home settings, it comes with the Pixel Launcher pre-installed, which is one of my favorite. It comes with all those Google apps pre-installed. So yes, it also have the Pixel Launcher, which is quite good and you can use it on your device. It comes with all the Google apps pre-installed, which means some basic apps are already there. Google Files, Google Messages, Google Phone, Google Contacts and all those basic Google apps are still there. Talking about the camera, it doesn't come with a G-Cam pre-installed, but yes, the best thing is it comes with the normal MIUI camera pre-installed. The things are perfectly working fine here. You might get some little bit of issues in other features, but not sure, but main things are working, photo, portrait, the video mode, even the 48 megapixel, all these things are perfectly working. I'm not sure about if your device which has a 64 megapixel, if it is working for you and if it is available, you can try out some fixes. I'm not sure, but in my case, I have 48 megapixel, which is working perfectly fine. If you're going for the video mode, yes, the video mode is also looking quite good here. Everything seems to be perfect and working till now. As you can see, the stability is there. Video mode at Sikta is working fine. You have a lot of settings options available here too. These are some cool and interesting features which you get in camera. So the best thing is this room has a very interesting kind of camera. You can see the stock mini camera is available there. That's kind of good. We have other interesting features options are available which are working. So the thing is that if the features are perfectly working fine, you can give it a try if you want to also it have the option of using the Gcam also if you're using if you want to use the Gcam or if you don't want to use this latest stock MIUI camera or ANX camera you can use the Gcam also Gcam 8.1, 7.3 all those Gcams are perfectly working fine these were all from the camera settings let me show you some other things about this build I have tried it and I'm using it for more than 24 hours right now the room doesn't seem to be any laggy doesn't seem to have any kind of lags performance is good and up to up to the mark let me show you by going into other things i don't have any safety net status app here right now let me just download and show you that how is my safety net status if it is passing or not passing and if it is passing how if it is not passing then how and what you can do on your device let me just try out and run the test safety net status and as you can see redmi note 9 pro safety net status is passed and yes it's just perfectly working fine and for your kind information i've not rooted my device i haven't installed magis or nothing else so like that if we, our safety net status is passing our device should be certified if it is not showing here device is certified you'll be able to use banking apps i haven't tried magis yet but yes you can use magis if you want to if it is not passing for you you can hide the magis it's quite easy for you if you go for the settings, features are kind of same. Hikon Hub is there where you get some customizations, themes, status bar and other things. Display comes with new kind of UI. These are some interesting things with interesting changes which you get in other rooms also like the Corvus OS latest build is also there. Double tap to wake etc. seems to be interesting. Storage, privacy, all the basic features and perfectly working fine. I'm using it for some time, didn't got any issues. If you go for the security tab, new kind of UI as expectedly and also it comes with a fingerprint and face unlock both options. It does not have the app locker by default available. This is kind of a lack of the feature which I personally know about but not sure if it is a fee lack of feature for you. Xiaomi parts also include interesting feature like the USB fast charge which I personally use a lot which is av available and working gestures languages and everything else is there which you can use on your device 
these are the things i just wanted to let you know and if you go for the icon hub yes it comes with customizations where if you go for the themes the dark theme s and color some basic theming option available it comes with the fonts customizations options volume panel styles it is bar icon style theming has interesting things you can also customize the header image also as you can see i have applied the custom header image and it's working fine status bar quick settings status bar also has a 4g icon volt tv wi-fi all those icons are available i have i didn't install any kind of sim yet that's why the icons are not showing but they should work definitely fine these were the things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this thanks for watching goodbye